it. The decision was coming on the very same day that our traditional fishermen staged a protest morcha in front of Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute against selling out of our sea to foreign fishing vessels. It is very, very sad. We never forget this incident. Italian government denied the very verdict of International Tribunal on Law of Sea on the date of in the last September 1st. They don't allow Italian government and Indian government to extradite the convicts, the criminals. So, Italy is very clear. Italy's, Italy's decision is very clear. From the very same day on 15th, 15th February 2012 onwards, they denied their in India's in India, uh, internal security. They deny India's uh, territorial integrity. They deny their uh, part. So, it is a meek surrender, a meek surrender from the part of India's Prime Minister. During the election campaign, this very Prime Minister criticized Sonia Gandhi and the UPA government of, about their Italian connection. Now, B.S. Moonje's disciples, B.S. Moonje is the co-founder of RSS, who visited the, in 30s Italy. So, the very disciples of B.S. Moonje now uh, exposed, they show their own very nature in front of world community. It is not only the life and livelihood of, it is not only affect the life and livelihood of traditional fishermen, but also it will affect the territorial integrity of our nation. So it is a deception, a deception from the part of India government, India's BJP government. They deceive our nation and our patriotic people. Hectic parleying is going on between India and Italy. The date is to be not cleared. But we know all these things. We know our, uh, with our inherent knowledge that India is uh, meekly surrender to the needs and ambitions and aspirations of Italian government. That means European community is seeking their release. So India is, India is always set about their patriotism. But at the same time, the CEO of India, that is Narendra Modi, is also parleying with this, lobbying with this international community and what happened to our life. So all this drama, all these happenings will end. It is only a tale. This is a very serious matter and it cannot be taken lightly and will not be taken lightly, I'm sure, by our courts either. Secondly, we know that the Italians are attempting to shift the jurisdiction of this matter to the international uh, law of the sea tribunal and get it adjudged elsewhere but pending that they cannot prejudge the outcome by simply refusing to return a charged person to the court that is trying to establish his guilt or innocence so this is uh, a matter that i'm sure the indian government should and must take seriously uh, not just the people of Kerala, but the people of India will take it seriously. We have to be able to trust the sovereign word of a sovereign government. Uh, you cannot have a situation in which a government promises something to a court and then violates the undertaking in practice. So I urge the government of Italy to be sensible about this, to respect international law. Uh, when the person is back in health, he should be returned to face the process. Mamla Adalat ke sandyan mein hai. और अगर किसी कारणवश से वो वापस नहीं आना चाहते या वापस नहीं आ सकते तो केंद्र सरकार को और उच्चतम न्यायालय को इस बात को